G'day, guys. Guys, this is a bit of a humorous uh, one on Eric Berg, um, you know, our famous keto chiropractor. Yes, he seems to not understand the difference between starvation and fasting. Surprise, surprise. Yes, he's, uh, yeah. Let's just explain this to poor Eric. Now, what would happen if you starved yourself for seven days? It sounds real scary, and some people associated starving with dying, but in reality, it would be the healthiest thing that you can do for your body. Is he kidding? Obviously, people with sensible minds and sensible thinking do associate starving with death, Eric. You know? It's not surprising. It's only yourself and those who are on the vagunarized, um, you know, cult of the Church of Anorexia Vegana, especially those doing the fruitarian diet, that basically think it's basically a cleanse to starve yourself um, slowly to death or to an emaciated um, corpse. Let's just look at what real, what the definition of starvation is. Starvation is a severe deficiency in caloric energy intake below the level needed to maintain an organism's life. Got it? That's what starvation is. You know, it is an extreme form of malnutrition, something that the fruitarian vagoons really know well how to practice it and apply it in, the, in practice, not just in theory. In, in humans, prolonged starvation can cause permanent organ damage. Got it for goons? And brain, severe brain fog and eventually brain cell shrinkage. And eventually death, if you persist with that beyond the you know, a certain amount of period of time, depending on what form um, of the gunerized diet you do. The term in an Asian refers to the symptoms and effects of starvation. That's what starvation looks like. It's not something to joke about. That is what starvation looks like. That's the real picture of starvation. I'm not gonna show any more in that regard because it's quite disturbing. But that's really what it is, you know, and Eric should know best, better than that. Because we shouldn't be using the wrong nomenclature. Starvation is when you basically are severely malnourished and are in a state where you're at risk of organ failure, and death. And it's only fruitarians and people like that that get close to experiencing first world populations that get close to experiencing that level of, you know, withering away. Time restricted feeding and fasting has nothing to do with that, with starvation. Let's get it right. And we should not be using the terms interchangeably because they are completely different. There are many tribes. There are, there's a tribe in um, Amazon that practices, um, you know, fasting for two days. So 48 hours and they eat every third day and they binge and they are multiple generations and very healthy um, people. Fasting isn't a problem. Starvation is really stressful and damaging to the body. And that only ha happens when people are depriving themselves of nutrition, animal-based nutrition in particular, for a very long time. And that's the sort of effects you, you have. So, you know, Eric, you got it wrong again, mate. And somebody needs to basically point this out to Eric that he shouldn't be using the wrong nomenclature. Starvation is not fasting, period. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that little rant. See you.